Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. In this video, we will go through the steps of installation of media processing platform which is MPP for Avaya Aura Experience Portal 6.x in a single server setup, which means Experience Portal Manager as well as MPP running on the same server. First of all, log in into Experience Portal Manager system where you want to install the MPP software with root privileges. The next step is to change directory to the directory where you have mounted the contents of the ISO image. In our case, it's at slash root slash EPSP and when we list here, we can see all the contents of the ISO image. We will be using install VP script to install the MPP software on this server. So issue command bash install vp. As soon as we hit enter, it launches the install script. The very first step here is it asks for the destination directory where you want to install the MPP software. The default directory is slash opt slash avaya slash experience portal. If you want to continue with this, hit enter or otherwise enter the absolute path. In this step, it asks for which feature do you want to install. We already have EPM and documentation selected. So first uncheck those by choosing option 1 and 3. Now we don't have any of the options selected. So choose 2 for MPP software. Hit enter. It automatically picks up documentation as it is required with the software. Hit enter to continue with the installation. Hit enter for next as one is the default option. This is a version confirmation step. So it shows the information of what version is already installed. We don't see any version installed here so it says not installed. And it also shows the information about the new version that we can install on our server. Enter one for next or simply hit enter. This page shows the user license agreement. If you want to read the entire text, keep hitting enter or you can quit reading the text and go ahead with accepting the license agreement by choosing option 1. In the next step, it launches the prerequisite checker. It checks for the status of all the prerequisites that are required for installing MPP on this server. All these checks should pass to continue with the installation. Otherwise, if any of them fails, then we have to rectify that problem first and begin the installation from the scratch. As it is passed in our case for all the options, we'll have to hit enter to continue with the installation. In this next step, it installs all the prerequisite softwares or packages which are required by the MPP software on this server first. Hit enter to continue. It may take some time for doing all these installations on the software. So keep hitting enter till the time you don't get this prompt to move ahead to the next step of the installation. You have to make sure that all of these prerequisite installables are installed properly on the server. If any of them fails or throws an error for installation, you may have to troubleshoot and rectify that error and begin the installation from scratch again. In this next step, it asks for the primary EPM server location as we are installing the MPP software in a single server setup. So local host is the primary EPM server location for us. As soon as we hit enter, it shows us the public key verification step where it downloads the secure key from the primary EPM server. Press 1 or hit enter to go to the next step. This step shows the pre-installation summary. It shows us the location where MPP software is going to be installed and it shows what all features are going to be installed on the server. Hit enter to continue with the installation. Now it shows us the installation progress on the server. So there is an installation progress bar which keeps showing us the real-time status of the installation of MPP software here. This step also takes some time, so be patient till the time 
it doesn't complete the installation to 100% and move on to the next prompt. After completing it 100%, it creates the uninstaller and then update the product data registry. Once all of this is done, it shows us the post installation summary, which shows what all has been installed on the server. So it says it has installed the documentation and MPP and those have been successfully installed on this server. It also points us to the location where installation logs are located on this server to check if there has been any errors or issues during the installation. And this completes our demonstration for installing MPP software on a single server setup for Experience Portal Manager. Thank you for your time today. We welcome questions, comments and feedback at mentor.ai.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.